We have some very big news right now in the campaign. The Associated Press has just reported that Donald Trump has indeed reached the magic number that it takes to clinch the nomination. 1237 is what you need. Boy, we have talked about that number for months and months. Look at where the AP believes he is at right now. 1238. Thanks to a small number of unbound delegates who told AP that when they get to that convention, they are with Donald Trump. Among them is Oklahoma GOP Chairwoman Pam Pollard. So that's what you do. You get out there and you ask people, are you going to support Donald Trump? And in this case, enough of them have now said yes. Byron York rejoins us uh, with this breaking news. You think about that moment, Byron, when he came down that escalator. And to be honest, most people <laughs> did not take the whole thing too seriously. Right? They did not, not predicted very, by very many people. Uh, just as of yesterday, we had the delegate count, I believe, at 1209, leaving Trump 28 delegates short. Uh, but there were always a number of unbound delegates, people who did not have to commit to any candidate before the convention. There were about 200, 200 of them in the Republican Party. AP went out and looked at some of those people. Now they've decided to go with Trump, putting Trump at 1238. Huge news for, for two reasons. The big one is obviously he has clinched the nomination. That's really huge. The second one is the fact that he's done this with the unbound delegates indicates that he really is consolidating the party. You mentioned the, the Oklahoma GOP chairman. Republican Party officials around the country in the various states are coming over to Donald Trump. And look at this screen. Just keep this screen up for a moment, okay? You've got Ted Cruz, Marco Rubio, John Kasich, and you can add Jeb Bush into that mix. These were the people who were supposed to be the Republican nominee. But then one, you know, one day, Donald Trump looked at his life and looked at what was going on in the country and said, no, it's going to be me. And nobody believed him, Byron. And he hammered at it and hammered at it with a skeletal small group of people running his campaign. And, you know, you look at John Kasich on that screen, right? He is, you know, not a happy camper. At 161, he said, you bet this thing is going to a contested convention. We all studied up on contested conventions. There was going to be a brawl at the Republican convention in July. No dice. Donald Trump seals the deal today. Byron, final thought. You know, the important thing is he was serious about this a long time before right. people knew. He was making contact with people at Christmas time of 2014. Uh, in May of 2015, I wrote an article about taking Trump seriously and noted that at that point in May, he had spent more time in Iowa than Jeb Bush, Chris Christie, and Marco Rubio put together. He'd hired experienced operatives. He was serious about it at a time when people were not taking yeah. him seriously. And it's been in his mind since back since 1998, essentially. Yep. Um, and he registered the Make America Great Again trademark days after Mitt Romney lost. Keep all that in mind, folks, as we sort of mark this moment today. Byron, thanks for coming back. Thank you, Martha.